Hi, I'm Alex Herman. I'm the president of Innovation Mold and Design in Germantown, Wisconsin. I've been here for 23 years. In 2015, we brought wiring in-house early, and we worked with a, a certain um, vendor, and it, it just didn't work out with us. Then I contacted um, Makino, and we learned very shortly, you get what you pay for. We bought a horizontal milling center and uh, bought a high-speed milling center, two PS95s, and two wire machines. It was as simple as, I can have a machine on your floor in two weeks, operating in three weeks. The first, we got the first wire, that's exactly what happened. We've never had that experience, you know. Shortly after that, we bought another wire machine. Um, the deadlines, the timelines that Makino gives you, they, they let you know when the machine's being, the sales being processed through, when it's being packaged, when it's gonna show up at your dock. Um, everything was very professional. Everybody had great uh, communication. Um, and, and the proof is in what they can do. These machines are dead nuts. I mean, they cut to what you want to cut. And it's allowed us to expand our capabilities even more than we thought we could or even more than we were initially targeting to do. We're finding now between the PS series and the, the A81, the F5, when we finish parting lines, they're, they're there. Um, we had a job, we had it in our timeline. We allowed four days to shut this tool off. The toolmaker came in and uh, he said, hey, come on out here, I wanna show you something. He shut the tool off in two hours. Um, we cut one half in the PS95 and we cut another half in the F5 and the parting lines just, they blew it off perfectly. In our A81, we have now the flexibility of doing deep hole drilling and accurate machining. So I have the ability to, like say, integrate certain processes with side work, party line work, and then move right into the, one of the other Makinos for some additional work, say uh, backside work, that type of thing. So we'll pick and choose our battles, and now we, we have the equipment to win the fight. Repeatability is... Uh, incredible especially with our F5 and we were, were doing some uh, multi-cavity high performance tooling class A type tooling where um, we're, we're building 16 to 32 cavity molds that um, we have all interchangeable components which uh, come off perfectly. It's like going from the machines that we used to run from a, a Ferrari to a, you know um, a lower level car let's say so we're right we're running into the Ferrari right now we're ready to compete and go head to head with, I think, almost anybody in the market with the equipment we have in the shop right now. The other machines just failed and, and uh, we, again, we dropped a Makino on the floor and it just works. See, it works. The machines do what the brochure says and the salesman says and they back it up. The F5 is two tenths or better all day long and if I run that machine one hour, I run it a hundred hours. All, it doesn't change. It's deadly. The 81s, uh, you can rough with that and you're like, you can stand right next to it and you don't even hear it run. It's really, it's really nice. The PS95s, it has a real robust spindle so you can actually push it. They're not worried about breaking it. The wire's deadly. I, it, it, they all, I'm going back to this. They do, the, those machines do what they say they're going to do.